Hey, what's going on YouTube? Orstorm here with another deck profile today. Today I'll be reprofiling my heroes. Um, obviously, like, I, this, this list could possibly change um, with the upcoming ban list, but I did receive orders some new cards for the deck, so the deck has changed ever so slightly. So we've added some new additions to the deck. Um, I will say that this deck probably will be reprofiled again when the ban list drops. So, and I don't honestly think it's that far away. I think we could see a ban list as soon as the Mega Tens drop. Um, and if you, and it's only less than two weeks from now. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's get to deck profile. So, first off, of course, we got the three copies of Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Basically, this is like the pseudo Stratos of the deck, as long as Stratos is, you know. Firmly placed on the ban list here in the TCG, you know, Shadow Mist is the next best thing. You know, obviously you play three. Then two copies of Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Only run two because this isn't a traditional, like, bubble beatdown deck where you X, Y, you make a lot of X, Y, Zs. Um, and so, but I do, do still make a, run a fair share of X, Y, Zs. So, plus, you know, Acid is good. So, you know, Bubble Man at three or two makes sense. Then one copy of Neo Neos Alias. You really don't need more than one copy, more than one clogs. And um, the main reason you want this card is for Koga, and it just gets over big monsters. So, uh, like Dinko, for example. I do play, play a fair share of Akro in this list. Um, two copies of Elemental Hero Blaze Man. This is one of the new cards, basically. When it's normal summon, you can search a polymerization. So this is great when you open with this and Shadow Mist, because you can... Use this uh, poly and do Nova Master, and then get the search with uh, with Shadow Mist. So you've already gone plus one, and you can run over a monster with Nova Master, and then you're pretty much and you draw draw another card. So you've gone plus two. It's a really good card. It's also kind of a functional um, Elemental Hero Prisma replacement because it can send a hero monster to the graveyard to copy the stats and attributes. So if you don't open with Shadow Mist, but you open with this and a Mass Change spell. Um, you can send Shadow Mist, add off a Shadow Mist effect, and then and then uh, mass change into Dark Claw. So it's a really good combo oriented card. I really like the card, you know, too. Unless you're running like a dedicated like fusion build, I feel that it's only you really only want to run Blaze Man at two. Two copies of Goblinburg. Goblinburg is a really pretty good card in Heroes because uh, you can special summon Shadow Mist and this and a uh, Blaze Man and get their effects. And the cool thing when you special summon a uh, Blaze Man off of this, off of Goblin Bird, is you'll search the Poly, and then on top of that you'll get the uh, you'll get to, you can go into Elemental Hero Gaia, which is a pretty dang good card, which I'm running that now. And then two copies of Summoner Monk. Monk is obviously we're playing a fair bit of spells, so you know Monk just makes sense. You can get um, pitch a spell, and I actually like I don't like Monk in every deck, but in a deck like this where like you bend it, you can recycle your spell cards with Mass Charge. Just makes sense. And for some of the anti-meta cards, one copy of Thunder King Raiho. Thunder King is probably my favorite anti-meta card. Honestly, I wish it wasn't at one, but nevertheless, you know, it's it's a pretty powerful card. The fact you can special summon it, unlike Dinko, and it's a light attribute, like much like Dinko. So I can see why it's at one, but I will still say it shouldn't be. And then two copies of Trap Tricks from Aurelio. I really like this card. Because it really get because it's the fact that it searches cards like Bottomless Trap Hole and Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare to keep you know to keep our Dark Laws from plus it's an MST when it's Special Summon which is pretty nice it means I don't have to run Triple Space. Uh, then now we're at all monster lineup for the spell three copies of Reinforcement of the Army and the one copy of E Call. Um, I've seen some build you really don't need this at more than maybe two but like this is sort of the opposite of the OCG hero list because they have Rota at one but we have you know th they so it's kind of like the opposite. I've seen some players run two but you really do not need three E Calls and heroes and, and especially with Rota at three like you can run get away with two but you really don't need more than that. Then two copies of polymerization. These are for our Blaze Man. Um, basically, it's a it's a pretty good card because you can because you can especially with, in combination with Shadow Mist and you know it's searchable. So I kind of always kind of liked it a bit over Miracle Fusion personally. Then two copies of Forbidden Lance is to keep our Dark Loss safe. Plus it's great in the Hero Mirror match because when they try to mass change, you can chain Lance, their Shadow Mist or whatever they're trying to mass change, and the card will not resolve because their monster is unaffected by spells, which is pretty nice. Then two copies of MST, like I said, you can special summon Morelio for MST, so you don't need, you usually need three of this. Um, I still like having two spaces in my decks no matter what, you know, even though the floodgates are gone for, you know, the pendulum decks, you know. Unless you're, you, unless you're, you know, play a ton of Necros at your locals or your events you're going to, you know, MST is your friend. 
three copies of Mash Change. I really and along and I really like obviously now that this card is search. It's a really great card, you know, being able to get your Dark Laws out, being able to dodge back row. And it's pretty dang good. And then two copies of Form Change. This card is with this card. If you don't know what it does, basically like you. You put the hero fusion, you target one hero fusion monster on your board, return it to the extra deck, then pull a one out with this that has this as a different same level but a different attribute. So what's cool about this is you can actually use this. I really don't you really don't need to run this at more than two. It is searchable off of Anki, but it can it can be dead and clog a bit at three. So kind of two is kind of the ideal ratio. You can search it off of Anki, then it form change your Anki into whatever, you know, master hero you want to pull out of your extra deck. Um, the other cool thing is you can actually form change Absolute Zero and cards like Gaia when they've done their job. You can form change them and you actually bring Dark Law to your extra deck with, off of this or bring off of Absolute Zero. You can bring Acid out and just clear off your opponent's board. So it's pretty dang nice. Then last two spells, two copies of Mash Charge. It's one of the reasons I like Monk in the deck because you can just, you know, pitch Monk to set this up. Then Mash Charge and add the spell back. It's a really good card. You know, I don't really think you need three, but two is kind of ideal. That's all the spell cards for the traps. Um, and three copies of Powerful Rebirth. The reason I like this card over Call of the Haunted is, first off, you can special summon your Shadow Mist back, and it's not, this isn't binded to the monsters. Like, if they, if you go this and they space it, it, you'll get to keep the monster. And the level change is not really that relevant, because in Heroes, you don't really, most of the time, what do you get bringing back? A Shadow Mist, or on rare occasions, you might bring back a Thunder King Raiho to disrupt your opponent's plays. And... You're never really going to XYZ with a target you brought back with this. So I feel like I feel like I like this card a bit more over Call the Haunted because it and you could run a waste of Dragon Souls instead, but I just like the card. I think it's really good. Especially in like I've ran it in a lot of Mist Valley Ninja decks. It's really good because you can just keep bouncing it with Falcon and then just keep special summoning monsters back. It's pretty irritating sometimes to some players. Two copies of Fiendish Chain. Um I've always liked Fiendish Chain a bit over breakthrough skill because it keeps the monsters from attacking. Um Particularly in this deck, like I feel like Fiendish is really good. And then for the Trap Tricks targets, one copy of Bottomless Trap Hole and two copies of Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. I don't run Time Space Trap Hole, but I've been debating whether to make room for it. Nevertheless, these, these cards are like, I like Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. The card is actually pretty good because most of the time, like, it stops, like, board wipes, like, Black Rose Dragon and stuff like that. Plus, in combination with stuff that's going to get try to get your Dark Claw off the board. Most monsters that are special summon are going to activate their effects. And Bottomless is just one of the, probably the best staples in the format right now. Now, we're going, that's all the main deck for the extra deck. Two copies of Masked Hero Dark Claw. I've been debating bumping Dark Claw up to three. Um, because I can form change him out with Gaia, but, like, I'm kind of so about two. Like... Dark Law is a really good card, like, obviously, Lee, but, like, you don't, you don't want to rely on it, but it's too good not to play, so kind of, like, two is kind of the ideal number, in my opinion. Then, One Master Hero Anki, basically, I love this card because it, it allows me to get form changes out of my deck and then kill, kill my opponent faster, it's really good, so I feel like Anki is, like, a necessary card. Then One Koga, I really like Koga because... Even though you won't bring it out too often, like you can bring it in off a of form change and then just push for more damage. It just gets bigger the more your opponent spams the field, and it's just a really good card. And one copy of Master Acid, it's a Harpy's Feather Duster when it um, spe when it special summon off Mass Change. You can also bring this in off a of form change for Acid and just clear off your opponent's entire field. And there's very little. Like, they can fiendish this, but there's very few ways for them to dodge Ab Zero now that we have form change, so it's really dang good. And then, uh, for the another form change target, one Mass Hero Dion. Basically, this is here in if case I want to, like, smash into my opponent and bring a Shadow Mist out of my deck and search a Mass Change. It's just a really good card for pushing damage. Like, if I form change this out, run over a monster, search Shadow Mist, and then I can Mass Change again. It's just stupid good. Then, now for some of the, uh, what, it, what people would call, like, the Omni Heroes, like, the generic fusions for heroes. One copy of Elemental Hero Gaia. This is the Earth one. Basically what this does is when it's fusion summon, summoned, it can target one face up monster opponent controls and its attack is and it gains the attack, same amount of attack until the end phase. So basically you drop this, you lower opponent's monster, smack into it and and deal with more damage. It's a really good card if card, especially because we run so many Earths. I think we run at least four with between the Mermillos and the um and the Goblin Birds. It's a really good card. And then one copy of Absolute Zero. This card is like probably one of those cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's going to be eternally good. Um, I really like it in combination with Dweller. And it's obviously really good in the 
Necros matchups because they're all water attributes. So like this thing, granted if Unicorn is out, this thing could just smack over Unicorn. And it's a really good card in that matchup and any kind of water-based deck because it gains 500 attack for all water monsters. Plus it com combos really well with um, Dweller, which I do run the extra deck, so makes sense. And then, of course, the one copy of Elemental Hero Nova Master. Basically, I love this card because you can run over monsters. Even unlike, you know, other cards, like, it doesn't have to run over the mon send the monster to the graveyard in order to get the draw. So, like, if you have Dark Law out, you run over a monster, you'll still get the draw off it, so it's really nice. And then, now for the XYZs, one copy for, of Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is still a really good card, especially in combat in this deck where you have, you know, Bubble Band, you can exceed into this, and it goes up to 22. It's a lot more difficult to deal with at 2200, so, you know, why not? And one Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, you know, it's, it's pretty much a staple at this point. Um, I feel like Exiton's always going to be a really, really good card, and uh, so, obviously, it's there when you need it. One copy of Castell. Like I still, I, obviously, Castell's a really good card. Um, is, sp is spinning any face-up card that's giving you problems is, you know, good for obvious reasons. One copy of Excalibur. Basically, this is mostly here for towers out, but it's also really good for pushing damage and, you know, 4K beater. Why not? And then one copy of number 101 for dealing with, like, sometimes you don't always want to spin a card back to the deck when it's going to come right back. So that's why uh, 101 is in here. Um, I always like 101 and having both 101 and Castell rather than one or the other. And then we'll ask you one copy of Karen Gorgon. I really like this card in combination with Dark Law because it keeps Dark Law from being breakthrough skilled, being just chained, etc. Basically, that's what it's here for. It also can redirect MSTs, so it's a pretty good card. And I feel that like I played in any rank four extra deck. So anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it when people watch my videos. Tune in on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. And if you like what you saw from this video, please subscribe. It's Aura Storm signing out.